Welcome back to another run in Gray Zone. This is going to be a, a quick couple of quests out in Midnight Sapphire. I say quick, but uh, this is definitely not a short-term run. This is to accomplish two different quests that are also double quests. They can be done for one vendor or the other. And the second will be Noble Powder or Academic Interest. I do want to start the recording out in one area just to say my access point was a little weird and I want to make sure that people understand that there is a possibility of AI spawning on you, near you, or, or being kited as in, you know, they chased someone out to this area and uh, I caught the bullet meant for them. <laughs> Um, at least that's my assumption of what has happened here. Uh, I, I hid way up in the northern area of the golf course, sniping for about 15-20 minutes, and then I got shot in the back. Uh, no idea where that came from. I came right back out to the location of my corpse to grab my gear, and there were no AI to be found. So, whatever. Easy recovery, not a big deal, and then I just continued on. So this is what you're looking for to complete Last Farewell 2 or Left Behind 2. Either you can just scout the body or leave the tracker for the other one. Either way, it's right here at this flagpole for the golf course. Uh, again, be obviously very careful. You're out in the middle of an open field. You will get shot at if you don't clear this area. I circled around it for a little while until I actually felt comfortable enough to approach it. So just watch yourself. In order to complete Noble Powder slash Academic Interest, I continued on only because I saw that there was a large group of people already clearing the main structure. I uh, normally would not even think of approaching this building from this direction. Normally I would come in from the Far East. It seems a little bit more tactically advantageous. And you end up going right to the target location for this, which was a little hard to find. Uh, either way, I'll skip over a little uh, player interaction between me and these three guys and just try to skip over to where you need to go. Thank you. I read somewhere that the target box that I was looking for was in a kitchen of some kind inside this structure, so I walked around for quite a long time. I actually have about a two-hour video that was 77 gigs that I had to parse down to what you're viewing now, but uh, I was unaware of where this was. I'm hoping this actually helps people find this stupid box. Uh, it's right on the main floor, the same floor that the lobby is on. Uh, some of the things I've read online are a little misleading, but... It's actually fairly easy to find. So it is just a box inside the kitchen in a side room connected to the kitchen. Very critical point right here. Please understand, you need room in your backpack to take this box. You need four, that's a two by two, spaces in your backpack in order to carry this. If you do not have room and you click on this, the box will disappear, you will not be able to get it, and it is gone you will need to basically reload the server and try again. Please make sure you have the room before you grab this box. I actually used the exact same route I came in on, uh, ran into the same three guys I ran into inside here on my way out. Thanks for watching, and again, if you have any questions on 
finding locations inside of Gray Zone, please head over to mapgenie.io and look for the Gray Zone map there. It will show you everything you need and where to find it.